Hello, and today we are going to talk about teleporting in Mozilla Spoke, in Mozilla Hubs, using a link to take you to a specific point in your environment. So here we are in our room. We've got our central spawn point there. That's where you enter the room and you look straight forward out of the window, which is great. I want to put teleportation by the window and in the corridor. So I'm going to do it by pulling up my elements, click on waypoint, drop him by the and press F to focus. So I'm going to go over here, rotation 180 degrees, now looking out of the window. I'm now going to give him a name. I'm going to call him window. The name doesn't matter too much. Just make it short, memorable, and no spaces. I can also say clickable and can you be occupied, which means that you can teleport to a place by holding on the space bar or controls in your, your Oculus environment. I'm now going to put another one in the corridor. So just select waypoint, drop it into the corridor there, press F, and again, give him a 180 degree rotation. Move him back a bit so that he's in the, about the right place by the door. And I'm going to call him door. Nice and simple. So we've now got our two points to be teleported to. So how do we get there? Well, I'm going to click on spawn point, press F, and it focuses us back in the room. And I'm going to use the back of the room as a canvas. So go to elements, click link, and drop a link somewhere. So I'm going to just drop it here. Useful to turn your um, space to about 0.1, so you can move it back to the wall. And yeah, there we are. Take it so it disappears and then just backing up, up means it's nice and close to the wall. The height, I'm gonna give it 1.5 meters up in the air and move a bit to the left. There we are. So we've now got our waypoints. Oh, sorry, we've got a link. So to make it take us to the waypoint, just type in here, hashtag window. I can now duplicate this, move it over to the right and give that hashtag door. That's it. We are now ready to test out. Let's go and publish and see what this looks like. Okay, here we are and we're back in the room. So this is our scene. We want to jump to the window. We've got the link on the left and it says go to. And the link on the right says go to. There's no indication of where it's going. So we will need a signal, some kind of text saying this teleports you to the window. But I'm just going to click on the left and bang, we are in the window. I can move around, walk back and here, click and bang, we're in the corridor. So that's really simple teleportation. Now there is something I want to show you which is quite important. Pictures. So when you look at the spoke interface over here, windows have a link href. Um, so you can um, you know, go to a website. You can use that to launch of a website, just like you can use the link option. However, these are different. For some reason, Spoke will let you teleport to a waypoint using the links. But if you put hashtag um, window, into the picture, I just click over here, nothing happens. So I'm just gonna click on that, it doesn't do anything. So you can't use pictures as links, you have to use these. Now these pictures have the same image on them. You can modify that, but it'll always give you the same picture. So let's go have a look at why that is. What it's showing you is that view from the back of the room. And if I click in my office space, I've got my scene preview camera. I can just focus on that. And what that is, it's a, well, it's a little camera place and it's spotted in that room. So it's always going to show from that. If I was to modify this, move it forward or turn it around, then the image on those links would change. So that's just how it is. So if I want to put some text to indicate that this is going to the window, that is quite straightforward. I'm going to do it now. Go to elements and go to Troika text. I think that's how you pronounce it, Troika text. And where is that text? 
I'm not sure. Let's go bring it up a little bit. Um, it's currently in the floor. It's a bit of strange. So I'm just going to turn this around 180 degrees. I'm going to move it backwards, move it along. Like anything, you treat the text like an object. Um, the font size right now is very small. So I'm going to make it uh, 0.3 which is about um, 30 centimeters tall. That's a good height. Let's move it back to the wall. Let's move it above space there. I'm going to move it back a bit further. Let's see what I can do. Maybe if I adjust the draw distance here to one, I get quite granular. So, yeah, that's good. Almost I'm trying to get put forward so it's just on the wall. I'm going to do the same with these links. I should get them a bit closer to the wall. Just there. All right, so now we know that we're roughly in the same area. So, that text, I can click on this and say, make this into to the window. Great. And I'm going to duplicate that, move it over. I'm going to say to the door. At the same time, I'm going to move that link just over there. Now I can make this even better by dragging the window text into the window. It makes a little group just there. Take the door text to the door, group there, which means that if I just select my window, um, let's have a look, I can select that one. You can move things right, just kind of keep things nice and simple. So, um, uh, <laughs> oh, I've done the wrong thing. I moved it onto the waypoint. That's really silly of me. Okay, so I'm going to do that on the link. Let's do this right this time into the link, which is the window. And lesson there is name your links. So I'm going to just call this window link. And I'm going to just name this one here door link. That'll stop me having confusion again. Let's just focus on this. Now, this means that if I select that window link and move it, the text goes with it. That's nice. That is embarrassing. Okay. And that picture there, I'm going to actually leave this picture there because I quite like it. Um, gives a bit of character to the room, but it's not doing anything. And then maybe take my link. Can I move it back any further? Yeah, I can. Just a little, little tiny bit. So we've now given some signals, which is uh, to the window and to the door. They're aligned properly. So let's just publish this to hubs and see what this looks like as a better way of using links to teleport around in Spoke. Here we are back in the room, same spawn point again. And there we have it. Now, sure, that text is a bit high. Maybe we need to bring it down or make the, the links bigger. We've now got some simple signals that this is going to the window and to the door check it out and we're in the window back again over here to the door where's it going to the door there we are really simple teleporting in spoke using links taking us to waypoints